Okay. Hey, Miss Julie. Hi, how are you? I'm doing good. I miss you. I miss you too. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Oh, yes. okay. Okay. How are you holding up? Oh, there. I'm, I'm honestly really good. The only two areas that really stink is no sleep and lack of water. I'm doing really bad on water, but other than that, I'm doing really good. You're not allowed to look so pretty with no sleep. I know. I mean, always. Oh, you always. should see me, you guys. Four o'clock yesterday, my neighbor's like, um, can I take your kids? I'm like, yeah. You I was so tired. I mean, I, I think I lived, yesterday was four hours sleep, so it's all good. I got the whole car, car ride out to sleep, so I'm saving it for the car ride and the pillow and the drool. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Um, Alexis is so sweet to post this recording, so I appreciate that. We have Liz on the call. She has so much to talk about that I don't want to waste any time. I want to give just a little, little, little peek of Liz. Um, Liz is a brand new coach, like literally um, not even two months. Liz, are you like four weeks in, five weeks into being a coach? Probably a month into being a coach. Yeah. 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 Um, crazy. Yeah. And I want to share with you guys something about Liz. Do you need a and put your mouth on mute if you don't mind for no background noise. I want to share something with you guys because I don't want a single one of you guys stop it right now. I don't want any of you guys to compare yourself to Liz because I want to tell you my story. My story real quick, I was nothing like Liz. I did not hit any of the goals Liz hit out of the gate. I didn't hit those goals till way after I was a coach. Um, I did not apply any of the tools. I did not know any of the things Liz knew, but I will tell you guys out of the gate, I did not rank advance in the first, I mean, I didn't do all those things. And Liz has done all of them. And talking to Liz over the phone, Liz is literally doing, I'm not even kidding you guys, she is doing things that top coaches in the industry do like a year into the business. So when she's telling me what she's doing, I'm like, you gotta be freaking kidding me, Liz. Like, I didn't even learn all that stuff until, but Liz has so many amazing things to share that I really want you guys to take notes. I want you to re-listen to the call. There is no magic pill here. This girl is just real, and she picks up the phone. She does all her deals, but I, she has a list of things she's going to talk about, so I'm going to let her take over, but don't look at Liz and go, man, I'm a new coach, and I'm not where Liz is because you know what, you guys? I wasn't either. And that is why I want her to talk because I want people like this to show you guys that it doesn't matter. You can make it happen. You know, if you've got the tools, you've got to apply them and you can make it happen. Just believe in yourself. So Liz, take it over. Hello. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, I really didn't put a lot of uh, focus into like rank advancing and sales. I really didn't. I just went with the flow. This comes natural, literally. Uh, and so, but what I think my, my strength is communication and I know that writing for me is frustrating. So all that chatting, I don't do, I will ask every single person to give me a call or when I can call them. So communication for like, it's my main, like, this is a very important because you have to, if you want them to give you the time, you have to, you know, be available and say, you know what, I will give for you to, to receive your information and then I receive it back. And so I give them a call whenever they tell me to call them. That's when I'm right on. Six o'clock, I'll be there calling six o'clock. And, and then I'll start, I'll let them talk. I'll, you know, I'll say, hey, you know, what is it that you need? Oh, I'm interested in 21 Day Fix. And so I'll be, okay. Uh, and then I'll just tweak a little bit and well, what is your routine? What's your life like? And they'll start going on and I'll let them talk. I will shut my mouth and just listen because you want to hear everything that person has to say. In that moment, you're picking up little information here then that ties you to them. What do you have in common with that person? The moment you have those little keywords, 
is when you, you know, they finish talking, then you go in. Oh, yes, I went through depression just like you. Oh, yes, I skip meals just like you. You identify yourself with them to make the connection, and then there's where you build the trust. That's more, like, important. Yeah, building the relationship. And Liz, um, for all you guys at... Um, what Liz is saying about the phone call is something that I didn't start in my business until this year. I regret it. I regret it so much. And Liz is doing it as a brand new coach right out of the gate. Now, yes, we set appointments with brand new coaches, but again, she did not go into this business to sign coaches. She went into this to change people's lives. And so she is picking up that phone and talking to people that are going to be joining the challenge groups and helping them over the phone, um, just like you would do with maybe someone that's interested in coaching. That is where this relationship is being built. And Liz, I do this now in my business all the time. I do it weekly with people that are interested in programs. And it's amazing that you just out of the gate went into that. You will hear the number one coach in the industry, Melanie Mitro, you will hear her say that she does this. It is not just coaches you want to talk on the phone, you guys. You've got to pick up the phone with challenge group people because think of the four and five and six messages you go back and forth. It's ridiculous. Pick up the phone. Let's talk about it. Let's build that relationship. Like she was saying, you know, all of a sudden you can go, oh, I totally get skipping meals. Oh, man, I get busy too. I get that. But guess what? You know, you can kind of relate to them and apply. So, Liz, keep going. Okay. I no, no, no. That's good. And uh, then we both, you know, we talked about how do I close the deal. And uh, it's it is like, I guess it's it's uh, the <laughs> the mood the person is in. <laughs> you have to catch them right there in the moment because that's the moment when they call you and they say, "How does it work?" That's when you want to catch them and close the deal right there and then. You know, I don't believe in waiting the twenty four hours. If I'm up at one o'clock in the morning, believe me, I would be. Hey, do you want to talk? Are you midnight hour like owl like me? I'll get, I'll pick up the phone. I don't care. I will do it, you know? So whenever I swear, I go and, oh, yeah, I want to buy it, you know? And so, or they're thinking about it and they need a little bit of time, I will try to push it a little bit, but very subtle. I'll be like, okay, well, you know, our group starts on the 15th and it's only for new people and this is VIP. This nobody can get in this but you that buys it. This is VIP, and I make sure I use VIP. The words VIP are so, like, I love it. a bomb, you know, because, hey, you're exclusive. You know, you're giving, you're giving a lot of worth to what it, this is, you know, and to that person. So I tell them, this is VIP. You can only get in if you buy it. And so they'll rush to it. And they'll try it and they'll come in the next day or, the, or, you know, oh, I already bought it. Okay. But then when they're like um, sort of iffy about it, it, like this right now that we have the promotion, they'll, I will say, you know what? The promotion ends until the end of the month. So you have until the 30th. But make sure you get it before the 30th. And they'll ask me to please remind them. So, I mean, it's just a matter of playing with, you know, what you know about that person, how much should you listen to that person. They'll tell you if they can. They tell you how much money they have. They will start letting you in. And so you'll know that when they're getting paid on the 25th, well, you better be calling on that 25th that they get that paid because that's when they can buy it. Yeah, you know? I actually had the same exact thing happen. I had people tell me, they are like, oh, I get paid on the 12th. And you guys, honestly, I'll, I'll message them on the 12th and I'll be like, and it's not like I'm bugging because we know it's going to change their life and they know they want it. They reached out to you. They, yeah. you, they know. And so it's not like you're selling something that's a vacuum cleaner that's going to work for a little bit and break. You're selling them something that's going to change their life. And so I love that you are putting, um, you're putting the VIP on it. You're making them feel special. Like it is for limited people. You're making a deadline to it. You're following up when they get paid because you guys have done the same thing. And I assume when I follow up with people, they've already made a decision. So if somebody tells me they're going to get paid on the 12th, 
I will follow up and be like, all right, let's do it. You ready? I've got like two spaces left and I want to make, I want them, I want to make that one of your spaces. And they're like, yes, definitely. Let's do it. I get messages all the time that go, oh my God, I know you only had four spaces left. Do you have any left before I purchase? I'm getting ready to get on. I'm like, Yes, I've got one more. Let me t let's go, go ahead and guarantee that that spot for you. People want it. They 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 want to feel like they're one of that VIPs. So, girl, awesome. It's just playing with the words, and you know, and you can tell who likes that type of wording and who doesn't like the type. You know, you have to read the person. Yeah. Just, and and for in order to do that, you just have to listen. This is psychology. Literally, you know, you just have to apply a little bit of it. You know, so, but, uh, but, but I can do the sales as far as the, 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 the um, challenge packs, but I, in my case, I haven't been able to sign up people as coaches. I mean, you know, so I struggle in other things. So it's not like, Ooh, you know, it's, it, it's not valid. Yes. Liz, um, for all the new coaches that are on, the cool thing is you sign two coaches, you turn emeralds, you put one on each leg, you're hitting Success Club 10, which means you're going to get bonuses and you're getting free customers sent to you because you hit emeralds and because you hit Success Club 10, you now are reaping two benefits by doing that, which is crazy. So the funny thing is, is you didn't know what you were doing, but you messaged me and you're like, no. oh, I got this. Got that now one you know, awesome and then now Liz in her very first month of her business has free customers coming to her. Right. So this is the crazy you guys you don't have to know everything. You don't just learn as you go sometimes and it's and it totally works still. No, and and I had um customers at the end of last month and I had to tell them to wait because I did not know about the success club points and I did not know they they, you had to start all over again. I did not know anything until that day that you told me, oh, you won. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> then I went in and what it's about, right? And so I was holding everybody not to buy anything until the first. So by the eighth, I already had 10 points because I, already, I had scheduled everybody for the next month. Yeah. But yeah. last month, yeah, it, it, it got to me. It was very frustrating. And let me tell you, I, this is something that I have to tell everybody because it, it's not frustrating to sell it into. It's frustrating learning how the business works, the whole construction of how it's built. You know, I, I don't I've never been into this type of business before. So. I mean, for me, the right leg, left leg, this and that, I talked to Rhonda. I told her, I'm frustrated. I don't want anything to do with it. I'm just going to step back and, you know, be on my merry way. And I took two weeks off. I didn't do anything last month for two weeks. And then when I took time and I said, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go with the flow again. I'm not going to stress about what left and what right. Or I don't know. I'm just going to see. Post what I'm going through. Be honest with everybody, and you know. And I think the best tool is you. You are the best advertisement, you know. So you have to have the courage to put those pictures out there and to do those videos out there. I mean, there's the, writing something is not very personal. I'm sorry. I don't feel writing. Oh my God, I did great. Blah blah blah. That for me is not. I will keep going. But if I see a video, I want to see your face expressions because that tells the honesty right there. What do you think? <laughs> you, know, I, you know what? Absolutely. And you know what, you guys? Um, for me, I've been able to personally, and I watch like Melanie Mitro. Oh my gosh. Did y'all see her video with her husband and dancing? <laughs> <laughs> the size videos you guys see it I was dying laughing but this is the thing you could have never taken a picture or put that in writing if you guys have not seen it you need to go watch Melanie Mitro's size video with her husband she falled off she fell on the ground dying laughing rolling on the ground because her husband's like nailing it in the back and she is so funny so you can't take pictures of some things and show things so videos are are absolutely they are I'll be honest the thing of Facebook right now. They are kind of how people are reaching people because I know when I can share how passionate I am about something, I am going to be able to connect so much better to another person. Um, the thing I love about Liz is she does it. Um, and I've talked to Shonda. I've talked to a lot of you guys on the phone recently about this and Diane that, um, 
honestly, you guys, don't overthink it. Get that video out. Pretend like you're not going to post it. Don't pretend like you're not going to post it. Do that video. Don't take two and three and four videos. That one that is not like pre-done is the, is the video that's going to be the best. Like that size video that I did my girls, I hadn't even done the video one second and press play and my girls were like, but mom, what are the moves? I'm like, you'll learn them as it goes. Let's do this together. We're going to suck, but we're going to have so much fun sucking at it, right? Nobody yeah. wants to see somebody perfect on social media. And that's what Liz comes across so great because her videos are not perfect. She'll be in the moment be like, I don't know what's happening. I'm losing weight. I'm not really sure how it's happening, but you know what? This system works and that's all I know. And I'm like, yes, that is people see how real she is. It's not about, we've got this awesome program and here's these awesome containers and these are going to change your life. You want to join me? Hell no, I don't want to join you. But if you tell me this is really making a difference and I don't, have you seen my pictures? Have you seen what I've been doing? You're going to go, God, that girl's so passionate about this. I don't know what she's doing, but I got to have what she has. And that is Liz. That is why you're doing so well. You are just putting it out there. You're putting all the fear aside because you know that it's going to make a difference. So and, I you, and you have to and you have to pretend when you're doing that video. You have to pretend that you're talking to your best friend on the other side. You can't think, oh, it's a camera. You have to ignore all that and just be not, be, be like you're talking to somebody and you're explaining to them what it is that yeah. is right in front of you, and it will come out on your, you know, the results would be very natural and very honest. And, and that's what it's about. It's the honesty. Because believe me, I saw the infomercial before and I was like, whatever, I don't think that's real. Until my cousin was the one, look at me. These are my pictures. I was like, holy cow, I want to do it. Yeah, and I know a lot of new coaches are thinking, there's no way I'm going to be able to do a video. And I want to share with you guys when I first became a coach, I went through a boot camp with Danielle and, and a bunch of other coaches that signed the same time as me. And one of the very first challenges was that I had to do a workout video and it had to be showing a move of the day. And I remember thinking, there is no way I can do that. I am going to be so terrified. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I don't even know how to do a video on my phone. I didn't even know how to do any of it. And I did a plank and I couldn't even tell you what it was. I was so nervous. And you know what, you guys, it went over really well. And here and I do them all the time now. I don't even think anything of it. So we all have to start somewhere. So start little. You know, know that coming out of your comfort zone is only going to benefit you guys. So Liz, keep going. Sorry. Oh, well, I, I guess I have – it's more like social media. I know you've talked about it a lot, the posting, the times, doing morning, lunch, and dinner. But I think – um, take an, a picture out of your, you know, don't get that advertisement from the website. Get, take a picture of what you're doing. Like today I made the smoothie with strawberry and I took a picture of my blender with the frozen strawberries and the, I took a picture of it and then I posted, uh, you know, hey, have you had your shake today? You know, use those, those uh, gimmicks from TV, you know. Uh, so I remembered and I said, you know what, I'm going to use that and then I want to, hey, you better get it. I feel awesome. You, you know, when you tag somebody on that picture is where the magic happens and nobody does it and I've seen it and nobody takes advantage of the people you have as friends on your Facebook. There's a lot of people that don't know that they have to approve tags. So they're open for game. Let me put it that way. So. When you tag somebody, I'm looking for my chart because I did a chart. Okay, I hope this is legible. I'm going to go little by little. This is me, and this is my post. And I tag 50 people here, okay? Those 50 people have more friends. Uh, where is it? Right here. Right here. All these people see that Lynn was tagged on my post. Okay, so then a lot of them are going to be like, whatever, and then you're going to have that one person that's going to be like, huh, and they'll post, what is it? That's when you get the notification, and it's your possible customer. And that's when you reach out in the same comment, in the same post, and you're like, let me help you. And you go and friend them right there. You send them a friend request and send them a chat. Yeah. 
I love that. You know, I see, a, I'm recently seeing a lot of people do that. Instagram yeah. works the same way. Um, and I'll share that in a minute, but, um, absolutely Liz, it, you know, because if it goes to somebody else, then all of a sudden you're reaching people you don't know exactly. And thing with Instagram. If people are hitting a post quite a bit, if you guys go to the open area of Instagram, that post that got hit a lot is going to show up under one of your friends and you're able to see who it's all connected to. Same thing. But um, well, that's such a great point. It's not something I do. And I absolutely know Angela has been doing this. A bunch of the brand new coaches have been doing this. You guys have keep tagging us because I want you guys to have this bond together. All of you guys, um, Holly's done this quite a few times. Um, I love that idea. Keep, I, I love that, Liz. That's fabulous. I, I learned it five years ago because yeah. that's when I started my business with the jewelry. I would post something, I take a picture, and then tag everybody in there. Now, I was very smart, and I started going through all my friends and started seeing who had how many friends. So I knew I had a list of all these people that had like 300, 400, 2,000. I would make sure I would tag those that had a lot of friends. Well, and it could be as simple as a recipe. You know, yeah. it doesn't have to be yeah. a body anything. And that's the cool thing is it could be, you know, a move of the day or a recipe or something like that where you know all those people that you're going to tag are going to like it. You know, so you're really, you know, they're benefiting. So you're going to build that trust that way too. So I like that. Yeah. So I don't know if anybody has any questions. I like that. You guys, um, let's open the floor. Uh, any questions you guys might have for Liz? Because this is a deal, you guys. Liz hit Success Club 14 in her very first month of her business and rank advanced to Emerald. I want you guys to see it. That's amazing. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing. I did not do that, you guys, until way into my business. I had 14. I mean, God, I mean, like, I want to end the month now at 14. So, Liz, that's fabulous. So, you guys ask her, you know, in I don't know how she's following up, you know, how, whatever she might do. If you guys are having an area of your business that maybe you're struggling, this is your chance to ask her, you know, Liz, what would you do in this situation? Because I know Liz runs her business a little bit differently than mine, but not really. She's just, you know, she's being real. We all have like little tweak, little things. And I think the way that what she's doing is just rocking it. So how are you getting past the cost objection? The cost on the product? Yeah. Well, I got it's it's backwards in my case. It's very strange. My area here, I tell them that if they want to become a coach, they can save twenty five percent. They won't do it because they don't want commitment, and so they rather pay the full price. I don't know what the hell. I really don't. That's where I'm blocking signing up coaches. Well, what I've been using, I I just started with Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. By the way, I'm Rhonda. <laughs> um, and I literally just got my pack the other day, but I've been kind of talking it up. And today I got like three people just simply talking about it and just talking about like what I'm doing, how excited I am about it. And, and like, um, oh God, I'm sorry. What's her name? The one doing the trainings with us. What's her name? Mindy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah Melanie. Or no, yeah. no, no, no. Uh, oh, Mindy. Mindy. Yeah. Mindy. Cindy, she was talking about how don't bring up the price, you know, kind of just keep talking about it. And so I did that. And then, then I finally, went, I just did comparisons. I said, you know, I know for me, I buy things anyways, and the money that I spend is crazy. And so I saw Shakeology and how one bag of Shakeology costs this much when, you know, if you compare it to what you would get, if you pay all, you know, pay one price, for your investing in yourself, and then you get all of these things for that one price that you would pay for one bag of Shakeology. So I kind of try to do comparing and kind of see where they would save rather than just being like a big number. But like I said, I'm completely new to it, but so far I've gotten a few people and I just need to close and kind of. Oh, that's awesome. That's just that's a that I'm using. True, comparing. I had a phone call yesterday of somebody that's gonna sign as a coach and um, we were talking about turmeric. I mean, she buys turmeric, all the vitamins she buys, all these herbs she's buying. I mean, she is, she looked at the price of it. And this is so funny. I want to share something really quick. You guys, a lot of you guys are doing this. And she was like, well, I can't afford the 21 day fix challenge pack right now, but I want to sign up for Shakeology. And I'm like, <laughs> let me tell you something. 
<laughs> I said, I'll clarify something. I said, I'm so excited to get started with you, but guess what? This is so cool. If you buy Shakeology at Home Direct, you're saving money. You're not having to buy any of those supplements anymore. They're all in one shake. And guess what? You get the 21 day fix for 10 bucks. She's like, what? And I'm like, yeah. And you can sign up to be a coach for free and then get 25% off. So you're only paying 97 a month for Shakeology and you get all the support, all the meal plans, every single day meal prep videos, like all this. And they're like, really? Where do I sign? You know what I mean? So um, remember you guys, I get so many people that just want to get on Shakeology because they look at how it's going to change their life and they forget that the value is in the whole deal. I mean, it, obviously it's all great, but Shake all, or 21 day fix is only 10 bucks right now, you know, once they buy a challenge pack. So it's like, dang, she, like, she didn't even put the number together and I had to kind of spell it out for her. And she was like, you're right. And I'm like, yeah, you get the whole shebang, you know? So anyways. That, I guess it's just in where you live. I mean, I don't know. I, <laughs> I, I swear I've explained it. God knows how many times I do a little figure stakes and stuff and still like no 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 i pay the full price because i don't want commitments and i'm like yeah okay. you know, Liz, one way i've been able to get past that and i think it was just um trial and error what works but i use my own example but i'll share with you what i've done that's really helped me sign more coaches um because when i became a coach you guys i am not paying full price for it but I knew I was going to work it at some point, but for those people that don't want to work it, I make it so clear to them, like so clear on the phone or whenever I talk to them, there is no commitment. There is no, you have to join for three months, six months, whatever. You can cancel at any time, but the best part, you guys, this is what I tell them, literally. You get to be in any of my cleaning groups, any of my support groups. You have my support, not just for those 30 days in that 21 day fix group, but forever. So once you finish this one group, right? This one group, cause this is the deal. We all know as coaches, if they want to continue with us, we will let them, of course. I mean, that's something, I mean, we want to help them longer, but it is just the 21 day fix, right? So they were oh. really up just for that. You know, just for that, um, that um, 21 days, right? So in that coach call, I'll basically say, listen, any group I have, you can be a part of them for free and there's no commitment. And guess what? You are going to only pay 97 a month for Shakeology instead of 130 And if any program comes up, guess what? You get it on sale. So I actually, what I have done is I have taken the coaching out of it, okay, for that person that does not want to work the business. Because know this, for every coach that signs, 71% of discount coaches end up working the business. I talked to my neighbor today about Alexis. <laughs> I said, I, my very second challenge group, I said she was my first person. I didn't know her two years later. She decides to work the business in three months, she's diamond. You know, and I'm like, who knew? I mean, like 71% end up working it. So never, ever discard that everybody should have a discount. I want I think everybody should have a discount. Absolutely. And if they don't, they mustn't like to shop at TJ Maxx or Nordstrom's Rack or I don't know, right? It's like I posted. I posted on my yesterday because I got frustrated with a client and, and then several. Anyway, uh, I said, is that Michael Kors? Is that Michael Kors break pack going to make you thinner or make you wonderful like Shakeology or any other product? I, are you not willing to invest in your health? Like, hello. You know, I was like, I got frustrated. I just put it in. I turned the negative into a positive. That was the weirdest thing that I didn't even realize I did. Yeah. Because that post generated a lot of feed and a lot of, hey, what is that you're talking about? I, I have several chats where I had interest again. And I was like, yes, I'm going to take every negative thing and turn it into positive. <laughs> I love it. And I may not say it right. Is it Hiromi? Uh, Hiromi. You can call me Hiromi. Gosh. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. Now, okay. she literally is a coach like in less than a week. And the reason she's doing so well, you guys, if you go to her page, she isn't like beach body this or beach body that. But you know what? She's living the lifestyle. She's living the life. So it's not 
Oh, oh, guys, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, enjoy the furniture. You are so welcome. Oh, you're good. Thank you so much. I just sold furniture. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so definitely, um, just live it. It doesn't have to be beach body this, beach body. Just live it. Just live it and have fun with it. And that's what I love. I see her doing in her fun little videos. So, anyways, but um, Liz. We'll work more on that. Um, I think just taking the coach part out and focusing on the value that they're going to actually get as a coach and knowing that, hey, if you ever want to work it, it's there, but it's not necessary. And once I took that out of it, um, it really changed my business. Absolutely. Perfect. Then I'm, and you'll I'm get there. there. You'll get I'm there. Getting you, I mean, girl, I mean, you'll get her. You're hard. I mean, you're insane. So you're, don't beat yourself up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, no, I'm just going to take it easy too. I'm, I'm not getting worried about it. I'm like, you know what? It will come when it, it, it will come when it will come. You're doing That's good. It. The other thing I love Liz if shared that she didn't go into a whole lot that I want to share a little bit about, and maybe I don't express it enough in my business and I want to be um, I am a half, uh, my glass is always overflowing. It's who I am. I'm not a negative person. When I see people that are negative, I pretty much run from them. It's just, I don't want that in my life. And I just, I tend to be that person. Um, but I would be lying to you if sometimes I don't get overwhelmed or I don't go, oh my gosh, and I wake up and I've got 150 messages. Like right now, you guys, I have, I, I don't, I got a lot of messages, but it's all good. I, I got to be driving for about 20 hours, so I'll get caught up. But Liz made a good point. She felt overwhelmed. Um, she literally became a new coach and it was pretty insane. People were just like inundating her and it, it became this thing where it's like, what the heck's going on? Right. I just did this cause I wanted to help people. And now there's so much more to learn. I am almost three years into the business, you guys. And I did not learn all this overnight and I still am learning every single day. I will never know it all. When I was as new as Liz, I didn't know what left leg, right leg, any of that stuff is. I want all the new coaches, don't even worry about it. We're going to work on that as it goes. Seasoned coaches, don't even worry about it. You want to sit there and focus on why you started. And what's going to happen is like what's happened with Liz is if you focus on your why and you live it and you live the three vital behaviors every single day, people are going to switch the radiation from you and they're going to want to be a part of what you're doing. But Liz stepped away when she felt overwhelmed. She stepped away, took a breath. I don't know, you guys may or may not remember, but about a month ago, maybe longer, I did a video on Facebook where I was walking and I was talking about the personal development I listened to that day. Holy freaking cow. I was stressing out so bad in my life. Y'all didn't really know what was going on because I didn't know where I was going to live. Was it going to be Colorado? Was it going to be Arizona? Was I going to be in Minnesota forever? My husband every single day gave me story and it was really very difficult for me I don't live that way I have to know where I'm gonna live in a month right so I was very stressed out and I walked away I shut my computer down and what I did is I went I put got my headphones on I went for a walk and I listened to personal belt and I said this is a day off. I'm going to unplug I'm gonna literally do an hour two three hours of just listening to something that's gonna feed my soul and in that moment, when I did that, I was able to uh, make a video and put on, on, on social media. I was so excited. It changed my freaking attitude, my whole day, my whole sense of, God, how lucky we are that we get to do this. And I'm stressing about where I'm going to live. You know, I have a roof over my head. That's all that matters. So when we get overwhelmed in the bigger picture of things, take a step back. Remember why you started. Know that you don't need to know it all. What you do need to know is that you need to be a product of the product, you need to read or listen to personal development, and you need to invite people and share your journey. That is it. All the rest is gravy on top of it. All the how you say it, what you say it, all those things, you're gonna learn those. You're not gonna learn them all overnight. It's, it's, it's trial and error. <clears throat> um, I shared with a bunch of calls this week. You guys are gonna mess up a million times. You're going to mess up all the time and it's okay. But those mess ups, you can learn from them and learn how to apply them, make them differently and make them just a little bit better. I'm constantly going to learn. Um, even with you guys, as I become a leader. It's, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm not a natural leader. It's not something that I really I've had to kind of learn how to do that. So, um, but, um, I hope that's helpful. 
Um, we have just about three minutes left. Does anybody have any last questions for Liz? I just want you guys to know, don't get overwhelmed. And if you feel like there's a lot to learn, step away, walk back in. Don't, don't feel like you got to learn it all overnight. I have a question for you. Um, the group on Monday, are you going to make that available? Yes. Thank you for bringing that up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I'm setting my alarm for 4 a.m. because I'm ridiculous, and I will be setting the group up, and I am going to do a post in Race for Fitness Sparkle, and um, actually, why don't I do it tonight? I won't respond to it tonight, but as soon as you get off the call, I'm going to ask every single one of you who has new people to be in the brand new, um, listen, I almost said May, June 15th um, <laughs> challenge group that starts on Monday. So I will set it up tomorrow, um, super early. So I'll have it done by like, I don't know, I don't know, before 9 a.m. And I'm sure I don't even know what tomorrow's gonna bring me. But, um, and um, I'll have you guys write who needs to have people in there. I'm gonna put meal plans, um, grocery lists, and my welcome video, and I want you to add all your people. I want every single person that puts people in there to be a part of it and be as involved as I am. I don't want you to be a fly on the wall. That is not why you're in these groups. It's to be involved and be present in them as a team, okay? okay. Perfect. Got it? Anyway, if anybody wants to send me a text or a chat, I am more than happy to talk and chat because we learn from each other. Mm -hmm. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> yeah, we learn from each other. Liz, okay. thank you so much. You're amazing, girl. Keep it up. And you guys, well, thank you so much for holding the team down this, this week. It's a little nuts. So thank you. I so appreciate it. And I'll do a post real quick to see who needs people in the group on the 15th, okay? All right. Thank All right. You. Thanks, Liz. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.